Hello there, today I'm gonna show you how I made this wasteland helmet. It's basically half orc, half human and half beast. Yeah, uh, as you can see there are horns, teeth, all kinds of stuff, so let's get into it. I used an old plastic helmet that I found in my uh, workshop and some uh, plastic goggles. Yeah, I basically cut out uh, the helmet in the shape I wanted to, remove the inside. First I made sure the goggle would fit onto the helmet. And then I started to dremeling the parts I cut out, so I won't cut myself while wearing it. Then I made a paper model uh, for the horns. I copied that model onto foam, onto craft foam, and cut out several layers and glued them together. Now I'm cutting them. After cutting it looks like this. I marked the spots I want some details on the horns. Now I cut in some depth. It's still flexible at this moment. Then I sanded it. This is the sanded version and this is the cutout version, so you can clearly see there's a difference. Totally worth it uh, to sand it. Then I covered it in Vorbla. That's the thermal plastic. It makes it more uh, sturdier. Then I sanded it again. Then I burned in thousands of tiny cuts for some depth and details texture. After that I connected the horns with some scraps. Now I covered my face so I can have a jaw in the end. Marking the spots where the details go. Now I'm starting with the human skull part. Make sure it fits on your face. Then you attach it to the helmet. I'm cutting out what I don't need anymore. Marking the spots where the details go, but also reuse the scraps for those details. After that I'm giving some basic shape for the human face. The attachments for the teeth afterwards. After that I make a stronger connection between the human part and the beast part. Then I'm starting with the jaw. For that I'm using a craft foam and wobble again. Also use the pattern uh, you saw before with the plastic wrap and the tape. Okay-ish already. I wanted the jaw to be orcish, so the jaw gets way bigger teeth than the upper part. Also the jaw looks way bulkier than the almost skinny human skull above. And that's how the jaw looks like in the end. Some huge ass teeth and stuff. Also the human part needs his teeth so I gave him some. And that's how the helmet looks without the jaw. So I'll uh, keep it detachable if I don't like it or if I just want to remove it to whatever for whatever reason. I also attached some additional horns and teeth on the head as you can see. And that's how the jaw looks like. 
So yeah, that's how the helmet looks at the moment. It's a work in progress. I'm gonna add way more details and color, of course. So stay tuned. If you like it, leave a subscribe, a like, a comment, and make sure to come again. See ya!